This is the book of Psalm, chapter 139, verse 21 and 22. Do not I hate them, O Lord Yahweh, that hate thee? And am I not grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. Psalm chapter 139, verse 21 and 22. Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Racha Akwadash. Double honors to our venerable apostles and elders of Great Millstone who well and peace and blessings to the Lord's elect, the house of David. All right, so brother Aharon, coming back at you with another lesson. Lord willing to be edifying and uplifting unto the elect. All right, and just want to go into this uh, article here real quick again. Going into the signs of the times. Okay, now we have, um, and I'm going to, you know, jump straight to the point. All right, we have um, the FBI director. Okay, back at it again. You know, uh, this guy, Christopher Ray. You know, and I personally, you know, we we, 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 we we like to just bring out the word. You know, but personally, man, I, I don't I don't like this guy. Okay, this Christopher Ray guy. I, I have a there's something about him, you know, in the spirit. It's 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 very off putting, you know. Not not to mention that he's an Edomite. All right, he's going he's going straight to slavery, bitch. You know, but I it's something about him that you know it really 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 you know takes me off. All right, but um, let's read this article real quick. It says here, uh, FBI director w wants legislation for powerful spy authority with the intent to quote keep america safe end quote all right and one thing they don't understand is is prophecy okay that no matter how much technology you have no matter how much you care to keep americans safe or america safe you notice he didn't say americans he said america right um because these devils are very very careful with the words that they use okay that's why the scriptures tell you never trust an enemy okay he'll come in he'll, he'll, he'll deceive you with smooth words you know but in, in his heart there's nothing but but wickedness all right and that's what these devils like to do okay they use rhetoric all right in the form of double speak all right and, and, and deceptive ways of, of 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 getting people to 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 fall for their tricks okay but it says here fbi director christopher ray delivered a full-throated <laughs> defense of a powerful spy authority on Tuesday, invoking that September 11, 2001, T attacks and warning lawmakers that a, wa a watered-down surveillance program could leave the agency paralyzed to respond to threats. Now, it's very interesting because they're coming out and asking for more, um, basically more ability to uh, gather information on, on, on so-called American citizens, right? And just like in communist China, right? They got the um, Skynet program. Okay, that's pretty much the same thing that these these people are asking for, because they see the kind of power that uh, the so-called authorities in China have. You know, and be, be able to basically pop in, and you could see everything that somebody's doing. You know, you could. I mean, forget about the NSA and how they can spy on you. When we talking next level type shit. Right, and that's what they want to do. They want to do it openly, you know, because now they do it, but in a secretive way. And if they're caught, you know, or if somebody brings them up to charges, they can they can face, uh, uh, you know, quite quite a quite a problem, you know. But typically they don't because all they do is eliminate the um, uh, the witnesses or whoever is testifying. Some mysterious thing tends to happen to those kind of people. So, you know, they're not too worried about that. They, what they're worried about is the the, the public, all right, waking up to their shit. You know, and and we know Christopher Ray. He works for for the JJs anyway. He responds to the JJs. He's a boy to the JJs. You know, so we don't respect you. All right, me, me personally, I don't respect them. I don't like them. All right, a few years ago, you know, he was one of those people who went on. I believe it was in Congress. Um, <clears throat> and uh, he was basically trying to pitch, you know, that oh, the, you know, the, the Hebrew Israelites are, you know, are a threat. You know, we're watching them. You know, we need more. Your know, ability to to basically investigate them you know and i believe um one of the ladies uh i think it was i want to say karen bass all right but her last name was bass you know and she was basically asking questions she said well i mean these these people are always in the street corners you know we see them all the time everybody knows about them all right but can you give me any definitive uh proof 
you know, substantiate what you're saying that, you know, they are a, a threat, blah, 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 and, and we need to investigate and so on and so forth. And can you can you show us the proof that they're actually tied to any form of domestic violence or domestic terrorist, whatever shit you, you niggas is trying to propagate? Right. And he couldn't do it. He said, oh, yeah, we, you know, we'll give, give us some time. We, you know, we'll come up with this and that. No, you have no evidence. What you're trying to do is create a scenario and then and then lump us all in it. And then you can turn around and say, ah, see, we told you that these, if you would have allowed us to do our jobs, you know, we could have avoided these things. Bullshit. All right, we know how this thing works. All right. And like I said, we don't respect you. And when we get your ass in slavery, boy, <laughs> it says, what could anybody possibly say to victims' families? There you go. Um, what's that thing called? Uh, using, using public emotion, right? It's all sensationalism. All right, uh, politicians do that shit. Okay, before they go on a on a campaign or whatever, you know, you see them. It is something they used to do. All right, you see a nigga going around, you know, hugging hugging babies, kissing babies, you know, you know, going to families and talking about he having dinner with a local family and you know visiting local families and shit like that. It's all tapping into you know people's emotions, you know, so they completely lose track of what you really campaigning about you know because of all these nice gestures that you're doing you know so they they come in talking that way you know which let's get that real quick um in the book of ecclesiasticus uh the 12th chapter uh, it says here uh the enemy or it's like your ecclesiasticus chapter 12 verse 16 it says an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit Mm. He will weep with his eyes, right? That's all we, we you know, we're, we're, we're doing everything in our power. You know, we want to protect Americans, you know, it's, it's, this is what we, we signed up for, you know, and if you don't give us the power to protect you, then, then there's a problem. Whoa, wait a minute. Uh, he will weep with his eyes, but if he finds up, if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. Okay. And that's, that's a nigga like Christopher Ray. He falls into that category. All right, we know he's our enemy because he's he's came out and said that, you know, the Hebrew Israelites are a problem. Now, what problem are we? I'm not sure what he's talking about, but we'll find out in due time. Right? We'll find out who the real problem is in due time. Okay? As you devils continue to be exposed and the people are waking up to your shit, your antics, your tactics. Okay? And it's not going to work this time around. It says, um, what could anybody possibly say to victims? <laughs> Victims, families, if there was another attack that we could have prevented if we hadn't given away the ability to effectively use a tool. Ray told lawmakers on the Senate Judiciary Com Committee, quote, because it's it's because let's not fool ourselves. That's what at, that's what's at stake with the reauthorization, he said. Hmm. Ray escalated his rhetoric as Congress. Um this week considers legislation that would add privacy protections for American information collected under Section 702 of the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, which expires at the end of the year. Okay, we have uh, two more weeks or so before the end of the year, so they got to do what they got to do. But we know, ultimately, every legislation that's been passed, every executive order that's been passed, every bill that's been made into law, all these different things that's happened, every discussion, okay, ultimately is to create an umbrella to group the prophets under so that they're they're justified in persecuting us, okay, so that they can do away with the truth, all right? I always come out, I, I'm, I'm always bringing out, all right, my brother's also bringing out a lot of information, all right, on how these devils operate, man, okay? I mean, personally, that's just what I love to do. Is to expose their ass because they're not slick, right? They're not, they're not slick, man. We, we, we watching you devils. We know what you do. We're not fools like the rest of the people that you can just come around and just say a whole bunch of nice things and then they fall for it. Nah. Okay? You got to bring proof, bitch. Proof. Proof. All right? That's 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 what it means to, to tell the truth. But you devils have no truth in you. You have no integrity. You're just an Edomite. All right, Christopher Ray, you're just an Edomite, bro. And you're going to serve your time in slavery very soon. If that's what's scaring you, if that's why you need to get ex extensive uh, abilities to spy on people, right? Uh, you're not doing your job, buddy, right? You, you need to really need to be demoted. 
That's really what you need to do. You need to be demoted. That's what needs to happen. And you need to be grabbed up and thrown in jail because you're a freaking criminal. All right. All you agencies out there, you engage in a whole bunch of tactics that you know is unlawful. Unlawful stuff that you guys do. Wicked. All right. Corrupt. All right. And that's 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 what you guys are built on. You know, the CIA, the FBI, all you niggas is all corrupt. All right. And very eventually it's all going to come out. OK, it says the House Judiciary Committee is set to consider a reauthorization bill yesterday that would insert a warrant requirement when it comes to information on Americans with certain exceptions. So what the hell, what the hell is wrong with that? Isn't that part of the Fourth Amendment? So what is wrong with that? Basically, what he's saying is, well, we need to we need to, you know, basically do away with the Fourth Amendment. There should no there should be no reason to have a warrant. If you want to just come into somebody's home, we should be able to do so without having to get a warrant, right? We should be able to just come in and arrest people because we perceive them to be a threat. <laughs> Fuck out of here with that dumb shit. It says the House Intelligence Committee is scheduled to mark up its own reauthorization bill Thursday, which has not yet been released, but is expected to have a different level of privacy provisions. Now, whatever that means, we're gonna have to pay attention to that. All right, this is what Americans should be paying attention to, you know? But I mean, it's not going to matter anyway, because prophecy is prophecy. These are the kind of things that leads into um, the time of trouble that we've been prophesying about for all these years. OK, it says Section 702 allows the U.S. government to collect digital and digital communications of foreigners located outside the country. But the program also sweeps up the communications of Americans and allows the FBI to search through data without a warrant using information such as an email address. Okay. So this, this thing is going deep. Okay. They can just grab your email address and boom, off, off they go with your, with your whole life. <laughs> you know, it says raise testimony, testimony follows a letter uh, to senators Monday from the justice department, justice department, justice department. Who's in charge of the justice department? Let's see. I want to say, let me find out. Give me one second. Justice Department. Who is it? Who is it? Who's in charge of Justice Department? Let's find out. Could have sworn I had this somewhere. Let's see what it says. Ah, I knew it. Mary Garland. And guess what? Mary Garland is a JJ. Ah, ain't that funny? Okay, he's the attorney general. All right. So, you know, he has his own, you know, looking like a goddamn rat. He has his own um, issues that we're going to address him eventually. But, you know, for now, we're dealing with uh, this guy, Christopher Ray. Okay. Because um, he's not he's not truthful. Like I said, he's you're just a, a liar. A low life scum. Okay? And and when your time comes, boy, look at here. Shit. It says, um, you better do your job, Ray. Christopher Ray, that is. You you need to focus on doing what you need to do. Alright? Which is doing the so called right thing that you, you swore an oath to do. Upholding the constitution and so on and so forth. You got no integrity, bruh. Alright? And when the time comes, like I said, we gonna stomp your ass out. Okay? We're already doing it with this truth and that's what's oh my god we need to we need to yeah yeah i'm, I'm not gonna let that shit down bro all right you went into straight up into congress and you lied you continue to lie all right just like your boy look at all these criminals that are still walking around here you got gil bates walking around here and y'all niggas not even investigating right uh, uh what's this guy's name fauci all this stuff this nigga committed perjury he lied in congress under oath and there's nothing being done about that. And you, you, your whole problem is worrying about a bunch of men reading the Bible in the street corners. Okay. All right. You see where your priorities lie. Um, because like I said, you answer to the J's. So we know, we know exactly what your agendas are. All right. It says, um, uh, race testimony follows a letter to senators Monday from the justice department and the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, NSA, um, that said 
uh, Section 702 should not be allowed to lapse and that a warrant requirement would severely undercut use of the authority to warn of terrorist T attacks and malicious cyber attack uh, activity. W w let's break that down, right? So it will severely undercut use of the authority to warn the T warn of T attacks. What? Oh, nigga, what? So with all the surveillance technology you guys have, with all this illegal so-called authority that you have, all this unlawful authority that you so-called have, the technology, you know, all kinds of stuff that you niggas have at your disposal. You're still saying that you're gonna, you're gonna, uh, your, your ability to warn of T attacks is gonna be severely undercut. That sounds like a, like a plan, if you ask me. It sounds like a conspiracy, if you ask me, right? It sounds more like you're just putting it out there to let the people know. If you don't allow us to have more power and more control over the information that is going back and forth and we can't just come in and do whatever we want to do to you, then that means that we're not going to be able to protect you. So if any T attacks happen, well, guess what? We told you that you didn't give us the power to be able to watch and warn. So that's why these things are happening. You guys are useless. Okay. Anybody who believes what the FBI and is, you guys are not there to protect the American people. You're not there to help the American people. If that was the case, then you wouldn't put 90% of the American population on a so-called domestic T list. For what? For disagreeing with what the government is doing and what the government is saying? Isn't this a democratic republic? Huh? When do we transition into a Orwellian nightmare where people's opinion is counted as a, as a potential threat? talking about cyber activity cyber activity <laughs> you devils bro you're being exposed okay for the frauds that you've always been you're nothing but edomites that's it and the nature of an edomite is exactly what's on display you devils just you just embody it all right you just hope that nobody will notice it but guess what too bad the profits are on the scene and we're gonna keep on exposing your ass all right this is the fbi director made the remarks to some of the senators who have insisted on more privacy protections and contend warrantless searches for information on Americans, known as U.S. person queries, are a clear violation of the Fourth Amendment. Clear violation. But yet, is this clown who saw, who, who who swore an oath to protect, all right, the Constitution? This asshole is talking about no, no, no. We need we need more to be able to you know basically bypass that that Fourth Amendment. <laughs> Damn devil. It says, Ray said, strip, uh, stripping the FBI of its section 702, the FBI should be disbanded completely. It, it's a useless fucking thing. It's a dumbass agency that's just there just to violate people's rights. That's all it is. Okay. It says, Ray said, strip, stripping the FBI of its section 702 authorities would be a form of unilateral dis 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 disarmament, uh, disarmament. And the authority is key in finding out when a foreign T organization directs an attack based operative to carry out an attack. Now, like I said, this is not, that's not real life. Okay. In real life, people don't move that way. Ain't nobody going to be coming together. Like, come on, bro. Come on. This is what you see on TV in movies. And then you guys act it out and play it out. You do drills and then you do it. And then you use the media to go around and strike fear in the hearts and minds of the Americans who are sitting, sitting there like, you know, sheep, just watching it, you know, no questions, nothing. Whatever narrative you guys push, they eat it up. Oh, there's a shooting, there's a mass, a so-called mass shooting, which is all staged. Oh, oh my God, this is, oh, people did this, this and that. They, they, we, they, they murdered these many people and there was a manifesto and the FBI is still investi investigating. Bruh, we don't need to hear this. Oh, the FBI, FBI was already investigating this guy for years before this actually happened. So how come he was on the loose and how did this happen again? And if it happened, where's the footage? They, they, don't, they don't show you the footage of the, of the actual uh, incident with all the cameras that's around. Right? This guy went and he shot 20 people. He killed 11 children in a high school or whatever. Where bodies at? Where the video footage at? Where's the victim at? We never get to see the, the person who's doing it. We just see videos and pictures at the end. 
of families talking about how good their kids were and this is so sad and guess what the moment after that they say this is why we need gun gun violence uh you know amendments to be done for the second amendment people shouldn't be having guns and gun violence and gun rights the moment you start hearing that you know it's a bs uh staged you know with crisis actors all right just to push a certain narrative it's all propaganda all right these devils will go as far as to create a war just to push a certain narrative they've done it before all right look up the history of uh all right uh henry kissinger all right henry hissinger all right because he's a snake goes around hissing all right so continue it says um ray's comments drew a sharp rebuke from senator mike lee uh republican of uh representative of utah who rejected the idea that adding a warrant requirement would equate to uh to a unilateral disarmament or disarmament it says quote you have a lot of gall sir yeah he does right he believes he does this pudgy looking looking face is it this is a disgraceful is it this is disgraceful lee told ray the fourth amendment requires more than that and you know it ray responded that no court that looked at section 702 has found the authority to be unconstitutional of course no court will find it unconstitutional because they're all bought and paid for in the game they're all part of the game bro the executive the legislative and the judicial branch are all sold out all right and they all work against the american people and we know that all right we know that so we don't want to hear this shit about you know uh, they looked into it so what <laughs> so what yeah right? so we don't want to hear this shit we don't hear that shit it doesn't do anything for us all right it doesn't bring out anything that's true all right all you devils do is lie okay let's see if i can bring out um continuing um ecclesiasticus chapter 12 all right in verse uh let's go back to 16 it says an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit so he, he's coming around with the you know if we don't if we don't get this then we can't protect the americans but do you really is that really the goal as to why you want this so bad is to be able to 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 not have to get a warrant you know what i'm saying in order to collect information on american people here it is i believe um this company clear all right clearview or clear they um sold a lot of information biometric information to the fbi and the cia on american people okay how did that happen is it is, is that even legal is that is that lawful is that constitutional <laughs> how did this shit happen and what are you getting all that information for on regular american people are you trying to say that americans have become the threat to their own homeland why is that and why would that be hmm? sounds to me like a, a very corrupt system that is afraid of being exposed you see but it's already been exposed people are waking up to your shit all right when an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips right he always has good in good intentions it's all for the greater good you know it's safe and effective right but his, but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit he would weep with his eyes but if he find opportunity he will not be satisfied with blood if adversity come upon thee thou shalt find him there first right because he's mostly going to be behind that shit. okay and though he pretend to help thee Yet shall he undermine thee. Okay, you come and you be the first nigga that is like, damn nigga, how the fuck did you know that I was going through this? You, you right here on time, bro. You good? And he acts like he trying to help you out. He stretches out his arm just far enough where your hands can't reach. That's all it is. You know, it's the, it's the, the fake attempt to help. You know, he says he will shake his head and clap his hands and whisper much and change his countenance. Okay, and that's what these devils like to do. You know, got another quick precept. Um, the book of Psalm, chapter 94. Um, let's see. Psalm, chapter 94, verse 3. It says, Lord, Yahweh, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? Okay, how long shall they triumph? But we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai, all right, that their days are numbered. Okay, you got his and Joe just got cooked up out of here. He's, he's about it there, 100 years old.
okay so the clock is definitely ticking you know the hourglass is almost empty okay um verse five we jump down to verse five it says um actually you know what? Let's, let's let's read it through verse four how long shall they utter and speak hard things okay and all the workers of iniquity boast themselves the hard things is talking about what um proudful words okay uh blasphemous words all right those are hard things man okay and the workers of iniquity boast themselves that's what esau does okay scriptures talk about the pride of thine heart hath deceived thee okay these devils are proud as all hell man to them it's it's if we don't have it our way then everything else is evil and we need to stomp it out meanwhile you're the evil ones okay and like i said the world is waking up to your shit verse 5 they break in pieces thy people O lord yahweh and afflict thine heritage that's what you do to to to, to, to the so-called blacks latinos and native americans you have a system to oppress us okay scriptures tell you that uh judah and israel were oppressed together right so it's a system all right verse 6 it said they slay the widow and the stranger and murder the fatherless yet they say the lord yahweh shall not see ye, neither shall the god of jacob regard it understand ye brutish among the people and ye fools when will ye be wise he that planted the ear shall he not hear so when you have your meetings and your 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 conspiracies and all that shit you don't think the lord is listening you don't think the lord is in the midst of that you don't think the lord is the one who's actually putting that deceiving spirit on you to have these kind of discussions all right to think for once that oh maybe if we work with this plan it'll be able to bring these people down <laughs> stupid dumb motherfucker it says continuing and you don't know you don't know who you're dealing with bro all right you devils don't know who you're dealing with man okay very soon you'll find out. Keep on pushing. You'll find out. Okay? That Yahweh Bashem Shai is not to be messed with. That we come in the name of Yahweh Bashem Shai. We have a job to do. And you ain't going to stop us. Okay? Remember the, uh, the Black Jesus story um, where he told you devils? All right? He said, you have a strong, strong disdain of me being here. I'm going to leave. But very soon, <laughs> it's going to come a time where it's going to be men like myself who are going to rise up. And they're going to take over this thing and you ain't going to stop them. There's nothing you can do about it, Christopher Ray. Okay? You're not, your FBI intelligence is not going to save you. Your your warrantless searches is not going to save you from a spiritual power ass kicking that you're about to get very soon. Okay? For all the wickedness that you've done, you need to go home, sit down, and think and start praying. Say, Lord, please forgive me for all my sins I've committed. I know I'm an Edomite, but please forgive me of my sins. And let's see how the Lord treats that prayer, bitch. So continuing, it says, He that planted the ear, shall he not hear? He that formed the eye, shall he not see? Right? All the wickedness that you do behind closed doors, he's seen it all. All right? So you're not justified in one bit. No matter what you do, no matter what you say, no matter how you say it, you're not justified. He that chastiseth the heathen, shall not he correct? He that teacheth man knowledge, Shall not he know? The Lord Yahweh knoweth the thoughts of man. So, e, yo, when you come out and you say, oh, we just need a warrant so we can protect Americans. The Lord knows your, your heart, your thoughts. Okay? And that what? They are all, they, they are what? Vanity. Okay? Vanity. All right? Let's jump down to verse 20. It says, Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by a law? Okay, ultimately, that's all leading to them setting up a, a, a lawless society to open up the chance for them to bring in the, the so-called new world order okay by way of the MOTB okay that's that that's that that's that uh, uh, um, iniquity that's being framed uh, um, uh, the, the iniquity all right that's that's uh, iniquity and mischief that's being framed all right by law okay it says they gather together themselves against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood right that's what Christopher Reed did at least attempted to you know you're grouping us in as a as a oh you know the southern law law poverty center you know says that so these are black identity extremists what nigga what fuck out of here with that shit man don't even try to group us into that type of bullshit bruh all right <laughs> yeah we pay taxes like everybody else we bust our ass and go to work like everybody else as a matter of fact we're we pretty damn good at what we do at these bum ass jobs that we have bro all right so fuck out of here with that dumb ass shit. 
trying to tie us into so-called black identity extremists. You get crazy. Fuck out of here. It says, They gathered themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemned the innocent blood. But the Lord, Yahweh is my defense. He's our defense, man. Okay? And my power is the rock of my refuge. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity. Right, Christopher Ray, The rest of you FBI clowns, you goons. Okay? The Lord is going to bring upon you your own iniquity and shall cut you off in your own wickedness. Yea, the Lord, Yahweh, our power shall cut you off. Okay? So you get ready for that. All right? Your your your, your intentions is not going to get you far. Okay? Your, your sneaky little tactics is also not going to get you far. All right? And eventually we're going to meet. Oh, we're going to meet. Okay? And when we do, you're going to see what's going to happen. Okay? The Lord is going to show you something. All right? So... Be ready. Anyway, I'm going to leave it off there. Lord willing, you were edified and informed. All right? I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakodash, the water Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. And until next time, Shalom.